Hey, it's Eileen from Basic Blog Tips. Today I want to talk to you about Facebook. Let's pop over to my Facebook page. Actually, I didn't publish this page yet, but I wanted to show you how to get your images up at the top of your page. Now, whenever I have a question or anything about Facebook, I always visit this blog here. And this is the blog of Ching Ya. And I'll put her URL in the description for this uh, video. So I was on Ching Ya's blog the other day and she had a post how to manage photos on the top of your new profile and Facebook pages. Now what you can do if you're a small business or if you're promoting products on your Facebook page, you can turn those images on your profile into little mini advertisements. And according to Ching Ya, and I found out this is absolutely correct, the size of these images needs to be 97 pixels by 68 pixels. Because you know, as well as I do many times, when you upload things to Facebook, they will crop or change the sizes. So stick with this size and you'll be okay. And in this tutorial, we're going to use Google Docs to create the uh, banner. So in Google Docs, the first step is to open up a text box. Type in what you want to say. You don't want to have too many characters here because remember, it's going to be pretty tiny. The next step, we like to get a nice background, a nice light background. Now we can make this type bold, maybe increase the size a little bit. Now the next step we need to do is take a screenshot. I'm going to use an extension that I have for Google Chrome, which is called Awesome Screenshot. And I'll just take the visible part of the page. And the reason I'm using Awesome Screenshot is it's going to give me the dimensions. When I start to crop, it's going to tell me, see there's my 97 pixels. And I'll go to 68 and we'll get that nice and centered. Crop it. Done. I can save it right onto my desktop. Go back into Facebook. Go right over here to photos. Upload a photo, select a photo, I can name it if I want, and there you see the first one is available. Now I'll go back and do this four more times because Facebook will include the last five uploaded images across the top of your fan page profile. The next step would be to edit the description. And you can add a description just by clicking on it. And in the description, you can always include your link back to your blog or any of your product pages, or if you have a squeeze page you wanted to add here. You can edit it right there on your description. So go ahead and make use of that valuable real estate up at the top of your profile page or your fan page on Facebook. Thanks so much for joining us today. Once again, it's Eileen from Basic Blog Tips, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye now.